The Connecticut man who shot up a mosque in Meriden last year has been sentenced to six months in prison. Yep, Fox 61's John Charlton is just back from Hartford Federal Court where the Muslim community requested leniency for the gunman, right, John? Yes, Lorenzo and Jen, just days after Ted Hakey's arrest, he wanted to meet with the Muslims he himself terrorized by shooting their house of worship. Hakey not only got forgiveness, they formed a friendship as well as a pledge to pursue an outreach of religious understanding. Despite creating good from something so bad, it wasn't enough to keep Hakey out of federal prison. As Ted Hakey made his way into Hartford Federal Court. Hey, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. The leaders of the Meriden Mosque he shot up had no choice but to keep their distance. I wanted to wish him peace and uh, wish him God's blessings today. Despite reconciliation, despite forgiveness from Connecticut's Ahmadiyya Muslims. He, can, he was remorseful. He's reforming. We can see it. He's a restraining out. order forced that buffer, ironically, for their protection. The irony continued as protesters for peace demonstrated outside as a federal judge inside had to decide Hakey's punishment for targeting the House of Peace mosque last November. Just hours after the Paris attacks, Hakey, after drinking, fired four high-powered bullets into the mosque, one of them going right through. No one was inside, but it was a hate crime nevertheless. Mr. Hakey remains a friend for us. A friend and no longer a foe. That's where this case is unique. Instead of harboring hatred towards Hakey, the Muslims welcomed reconciliation. Hakey admitted his violent act of bigotry, asked for forgiveness, and received it. I really appreciate the judge because he had he went below the minimum uh, sentencing that he was required to do. In court, the Ahmadiyya Muslims actually advocated for no prison time at all. But the judge gave Hakey six months, stating that although he felt the former Marine is truly sorry and truly wants to educate others, the judge had to send a message now more than ever. Well, this had a lot to do, of course, with um, with the Orlando thing. I think if my original sentencing went in May, I think this thing's went a little different. Hakey says prison for him will not be a deterrent for others who mean harm against Muslims. Dude, they can't just let me walk. And the few months will just delay. Is it helpful? No, of course not. What he pledges to continue doing, working with the Ahmadiyya Muslims to spread the message of true Islam, peace. When I get out, I'm going to work with them. They were, they were very genuine, and if, if you were over there, if you spoke to them, they, they're really good people over there. And Hakey will have to turn himself into federal prison, the facility to be determined in 60 days. He will also have to pay restitution, $5,130 to the mosque. Hakey summed up what he did as an embarrassment and a huge mistake he hopes everyone can learn from. John Charlton, Fox 61 News. And